Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay Taurus, this is going to be your February reading. February 1st through the 15th. Uh, but when this reading sees you is when you're meant to receive it. This is a timeless reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Taurus, if this reading doesn't resonate, check back next week. I upload every week, so you'll get a new reading next week. Okay, Taurus, what do we have for Taurus for the highest good? Impatience. So what are you impatient about, Taurus? At the bottom we have impasse. So there may be some choices that you need to make, some choices that are being made, and you may be a little impatient about the outcome. Very interesting. What else do we have for Taurus? A message for Taurus for the highest good spirits. Sun, moon, and rising. Beyond the ordinary. Yes, you are, Taurus. You're beyond the ordinary. The royal you. You are royalty. Number 16 may be very significant for you. Okay, let's get another message for Taurus. Let's get another message for Taurus, please. Hi, it's good. Earth and ground. So yeah, you may be in the need of some grounding right now. Finding your focus, finding your, you know, um, your balance. We also have self-acceptance on the bottom. So I feel like you're accepting yourself. You're giving yourself that self-care, self-love, unconditional love for you. You know, you're seeing yourself as that royal you, Taurus. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What does the tarot have to say for Taurus? For February 1st through the 15th, a message for Taurus, please, for the highest good. A message for Taurus. The Three of Wands, okay. The Hermit. The Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful Taurus. The Queen of Pentacles, you're showing up in a very strong way with that Earth energy, Taurus. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles in this reading. The Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'm led to get one more card. The Hierophant. Okay. Very interesting, Taurus. At the bottom, we have the Six of Cups. So I feel like you may be daydreaming a lot. You may be thinking or reminiscing um, something from your past is trying to be healed. Bring some kind of attention Something for you to be noticed. But something coming in from your past is coming back around. This may be a person. This may be a place. 
a place maybe that you haven't been to in a very long time, you're going to revisit. This could also be family and friends visiting some kind of reunion. Okay, let's take a look. First of all, I want to start with this Hierophant because this is the card that I was actually led to draw. Spirit was letting me know, you're not finished yet. Draw another card. And the card that came out is the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is the teacher, the guide. This could also be you looking at your higher self, you know, Focusing on that spiritual side, finding guidance. The Hierophant sits in between the pillars of obedience and disobedience. And he's making the right choice. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to go in the right direction. And I feel like that may be, have something to do with the choice that you need to make. Please forgive the noise. My furnace stopped working and I'm waiting for the repair guy to come. So please forgive me for the noise. Okay, so yeah, with the Hierophant, I feel like you're, you're coming into this learning, this knowing that this direction is the right path for you to follow. Um, but this could also be you learning that... It's always not a need to be focused, but it's a need to follow the right direction. And that's just intuition, you know, following your gut, feeling more grounded, feeling the earth beneath your feet, you know. Beautiful energy, Taurus, actually. Beautiful energy. I feel like whatever decision that you're going to have to make, whatever direction you're taking, Taurus, you're following that direction. You're waiting for some kind of results to come in. And I feel like this, the answers to this question are going to make you soar into this next level into this new destination you may also be flying very soon maybe that's the reason why we saw the six of cups at the bottom you may be flying to that destination um to see this loved one or this person that you haven't seen in quite a long time but i feel like you're you're in a state of waiting I feel like you're in a state of expansion. You're seeing that your world, your knowledge is growing. And that's bringing you to a higher level. A higher level of knowing. And that's the reason why we have the hermit right next to it. Because you've gained wisdom. He also carries the star in his lantern. So he's also carrying his healing He's carrying his healing with him, you know. He also has his companion. And he's following the guidance. He's following his star. He's listened to that inner voice. And he's being led to move in that direction. And I feel like whatever direction that's taking you in, Taurus, is taking you towards abundance. Towards something greater. Um, this may be a new job, a new location, you know, something new that's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. It could also be bringing you a lot more material wealth. This is you hitting the jackpot in the situation, especially with this queen of pentacles right next to it. This is you coming in, in a very strong position. Taurus because look how she's looking at that pinnacle and she's faced towards the ten of pinnacles. She's faced towards, she's looking at her happiness, her wealth, you know, and she's not fearful of what the outcome is going to be because she knows, she has an inner knowing that she's on the right path, that she's doing the right thing, that she's stable, reliable, dependable. You know, she's very grounded. 
as she sits on her throne. I'm kind of loving this so far, Taurus. Now we have the five of wands. So I feel like there are going to be challenges. There are going to be challenges and obstacles that you're going to face, but I feel like you're going to have help along the way. There's going to be a team of people that you can look towards. There may They may be friends, they may be family, they may be your significant other, but I feel like whatever challenges or obstacles you face, you're going to defeat them very easily because you have this team, this team around you who wants you to move into this higher space, who wants you to be victorious. You know, they're here to help. They're here to help you master whatever it is that you're going through, whatever this is that you're doing. Now, look at this. We have the Page of Cups. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of offer. There's going to be some sort of offer that's coming through for you, um, Taurus. If you are open for love, you may have an offer to go out and go out on a date or go have coffee. This could also be you really being caught in your imagination. Is he just imagining this fish jumping out of his bowl, you know? Is he just imagining that or is this a beautiful daydream? But I feel like the the fish represents his intuition. His love for life, you know? And I feel like that's what you're having right now. Even though you may be going through a little challenges and obstacles, I feel like you're loving life, Taurus. You're like enjoying the journey. Because look at this. Right over the Page of Cups is the Ten of Pentacles. So I'm really feeling like you know, you're getting a lot of joy and satisfaction out of this page of cups. Whatever offer this is coming through, whatever message that you're waiting to receive, I feel like it's going to make you very happy. And this may be due to some kind of increase that's coming forward for you. And I feel very strongly with the nine of pentacles and the pay, uh the queen of pentacles right above i really feel like this is definitely an increase this is something that's going to increase your finances increase your your income in some way this may be a raise or promotion that you're dealing with with the the queen of pentacles but just look how she's gazing down at the roses you know she's not gazing at her pinnacles she's finding attention with the roses and i feel like with this situation i feel like you're you're really looking at your surroundings you're really taking in all the beauty that's surrounding you and you're doing that with so much focus with so much anticipation of what's coming next you know very interesting for you Taurus now let's take a look at an outcome what do we have as an outcome for Taurus please I'm going to pull another deck and we're going to get an outcome for the situation what is the outcome for Taurus sun moon and rising for their greater good the world yeah, whatever challenges and obstacles that you're going to face, those are going to be completed. Something is coming to completion. Something is taking you full circle. And I feel like it's it's making you more grounded with this Four of Swords. You're really taking more time out to uh, be yourself, to love yourself, to rest and recuperate. Because I feel like Whatever project that you're working on, I feel like you've done all the work. Now it's time to rest and just take in that information because of whatever this is, you're going to soar, you know. You're going to be flying high. Yeah, definitely. 
Taurus, whatever this is, you have justice. You have. So that's the reason why you're resting, you're recuperating, you're taking more time out for yourself. You're kind of basking in your completion, you know, because you know all the hard work that you put into this situation. You know all the hard work that you've done, and this is coming back to you tenfold. Taurus, beautiful, beautiful energy. Whatever work that you've done in the past, you are being rewarded for. If this is some kind of legal matter, contracts or paperwork, I feel like it's definitely going in your favor. Something is going to make you victorious. So there's no need to worry. Just rest and recuperate, Taurus. Very interesting. We have the two of wands. Wow. So, Taurus. I feel like whatever this is, you're making plans for the future and you're making big plans. Big, passionate beginnings are on the way. And it's maybe due to some kind of situation that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for results and now you, you've completed this task. You've been through this journey after time of waiting and having patience. And I feel like whatever this is, is going to be a new, fantastic journey for you. This is new, maybe you starting a new project, having a new inspiration. Um, but I feel like something is coming through that's making you very passionate. And you're going after it with a... <laughs> You're putting your heart into this. Yes. Like I said with this page of cups. You did all this work, Taurus. All this work may be some kind of project that you've dealt with. And now it's come to completion. You're getting your full rewards for the situation. And at the end of everything, you have love. So, where we didn't have a whole lot of love in this reading, Taurus, we did have the Page of Cups, so we know there's some kind of communication coming in there. There's someone who's making you an offer, someone who's trying to step to you to let you know that they're interested. And now that you have the time to pursue this, at the very end, we have love. So, if you're opening to new love, New love is definitely coming through when you least expect it. We also have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. So definitely new fiery beginnings. This is a new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of joy, bring you a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Um, this also may be a new idea for a project that you have, some kind of new partnership. Um something to do with a new job offer but i feel like you're very strong in this situation and i feel like you have many opportunities ahead of you taurus many opportunities many options that you can take so make sure to weigh your options wisely take a look at the options oh we're going to take a monology card what do we have for taurus What do we have for Taurus? We have conclusions are within reach. Definitely. And we see that with the world. Whatever this is that you're waiting for, whatever that you've been patiently waiting for, and now it's like, okay, I'm ready for it to get here now. Now you're getting impatient. Now you have a need to feel grounded, to come back to balance. I feel like you finally get that with the world card. And conclusions are within reach. Have faith in your dreams, Taurus. I feel like whatever it is that's going on, Taurus, is going to be big. What do you need to release? So if you need to release worry 
anxiety, the feeling of being impatient. What do you need to release so that you can feel grounded? Feel the earth beneath your feet. Feel that balance, Taurus. Spirit is letting you know that you're being guided, that you're being held up, that you're being supported, you know? Okay, we have the teacher awakens. Yeah, that's this Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant is the teacher. The Hierophant is the teacher. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. Don't be stopped in your journey, Taurus. That's the reason why I was led to pull that Hierophant because... There's something that spirit, God, your higher self, something that it's teaching you, something that you need to gain knowledge from, something you need the wisdom to finish. Okay, we have care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Beautiful. At the bottom, we have intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is, is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one more. One more card for Taurus. Baby steps. You may have had to take this situation through a process but through this process you've taken action you've been assertive you know we see how practical and how logical this situation may have been but it's brought you to a lot of great wisdom a lot of great knowing with baby steps we have action follow your intuition before it makes sense so that goes into you know just following your intuition and just trusting in the knowing that your intuition, that your higher selves, that God wants to take you on the right journey, that wants to take you on the right path. Just the feeling of trusting and knowing that you're in the right direction. A new earth, it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Persevere. Don't give up. Taurus. Don't give up. Okay, Taurus, that is what I have for you. Again, I apologize for the noise, but hopefully the repair person will come and fix my furnace today. So we shall see. Okay, Taurus, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Taurus, if this doesn't resonate, take a look next week. I'll have another reading uploaded for you. Many blessings to you. Until the next reading, Taurus, love and light.